<laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. The Anorak Show. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to another episode of The Anorak Show. Today, we have four peeps here. Hey, it's your boy Ricky V. Don't forget, we have Shammy Lee. Say something for the fucking folks. Who's ready to get whiskey bent and hell bound? <laughs> <laughs> I am. As always. Jordan Lee. About to let the genie out the bottle. There you go. Boom. And special guest, Chris. Hey. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hello. So today. I'm feeling, I'm, feel, I'm just going to break the tension a little bit because I'm yeah, feeling, do it. I'm feeling weird, man. I'm sitting at the board. I'm not normally sitting at the board. Yeah. It's because you haven't had a drink. I've, I've been sitting over there. So if, if we seem a little off, it's because we are. We're always adding something new into the mix. Something, someone. Last week it was Doc T. This week we got Chris. Glad to have you, Chris. Got to keep it fresh. But uh, yeah, we just keep, keep throwing. Spontaneous so, is how you keep it. Uh, so what are we drinking today? What are we, what are we saying? Today we for have Widow Jane 10. 10 years. It's nice to be here. Thank you. We appreciate it, Chris. <laughs> Let me hit you with the quote of the day. All right, let's hear it. There is no bad whiskey. There are only some whiskeys that aren't as good as others. Raymond Chandler said this. Do you agree with Mr. Chandler? Any of you? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> no? No way. Uh, Let me start by sharing my experience. Yeah, go ahead. I, don't, I do not most sincerely did not agree with Mr. Chandler. I feel like there's some whiskeys that are just like, throw them in the trash, yeah, like, like Lee what? used to say. Um, I had Dead Man's Whiskey, and I don't know if I had a bad batch or whatever, but that thing tasted awful. Well, it was called Dead Man's Whiskey. Dead Man's Whiskey, yeah. But, and, the, uh, and, and you know, my, my mistake for buying it because of the bottle. My yeah, mistake. The Rogue Brewing Company? Is it, Dead is it, Guy Ale? Or the Dead Man Whiskey? It was called Dead Man's Whiskey. Yeah, I've had that before. Yeah? It's okay. I don't know. Then I had a a case of the the rotten cork or whatever. I would would have to disagree because I think there are some bad whiskeys. (laughs) Yeah, uh, I think. I'm going to hit you up with um, Uh Screwball. Oh, yeah, that's the I don't gross. fucking peanut really whiskey. butter okay. whiskey. It's not really whiskey. Is it is whiskey. Good. It's just fla- it's flavored. As soon as you flavor it, it's not whiskey anymore. Ah, uh, well. It's some, not, people it's not gonna, some people are going <laughs> to. It's not whiskey I want to drink. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just not a big fan of the flavor at all. It's, it, like, me neither. Any me neither. flavored whiskey. Me neither. I think whiskey should taste like whiskey. Wood. Yeah. <laughs> and that's no, about there's as plenty of flavors. There's plenty of flavors that come with whiskey. All those flavors come. From your wood, and natural, n- natural. You, you need not, naturally. Not infused. adding yeah, yeah, yeah. peanut butter flavor, yeah. cinnamon flavor. Yeah. Or, you know, name your bullshit hey, Crown Royal got, flavor. Guys at home, if you like screwball, just don't. You know, don't feel offended. It's just not for us. It's just not for not for other people. You know, gotta. It's like Fireball, right? Like yeah, yeah. some people don't love, get me started. Love Fireball, Fireball, no, Fireball this, Fireball that, and yeah. it's right. It's got its, it's place, not, but it's not cinnamon whiskey either. No, <laughs> well, as, as far as drinking. I'd have to say, Mm-mm. Well, not, not I, for me, girl. Right. If I recall, girl. Uh, Chris here does like a flavored whiskey. Uh oh. Oh, and it tastes uh, you like got you like bananas. that. You got the, the, the howler monkey. Yeah, the, I was gonna say it. The yeah, the Joe hand. Rogan. The yeah. Joe Rogan was no, no Dana, uh, White. Dana, Dana White. White. Dana White. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. wrong white person. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, both we bold. all look the same, right? Both bold, right? Fantastic, like. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Mixed reviews. I've heard mixed reviews. It catches you off guard because you're like. Banana? Really? Mm. But, I mean, I guess it could go with any bottle. It's like not an artificial banana flavor. Uh-huh. So, in, and they use like a reasonably quality whiskey. I think it's like, hmm. I'm just, I don't even know. But the flavor combination is balanced, where it's like accentuates the whiskey with the banana and the banana with the whiskey. So, it ends up being a pretty good product, I think. All right, I might have to give it a shot. Yeah, we can we can give it a go on. An it's episode. dangerous too because yeah. it's sweet, oh. sweet and bananary. <laughs> so you, you can, can put a. I think we all I think we all here like dangerous, right? Yeah. Right, guys. Dang- yeah, dangerous. I like to live on the. All right, so danger. Oh, I know yeah. we're we're a little antsy. Shall we uh, go ahead and taste the whiskey, gents? Well, I I would like to definitely think one that. more terrible whiskey experience. Uh oh. Uh, you kind of <clears> touched on it when you said the the bad cork. So one time we had bought a bottle. Assuming it was going to be good, 
It was a Delmore 12. Oh, yeah. I've had it before. It yeah. was my second bottle that yeah. I bought. Yeah. So I didn't know what was going that, on. It had that stinky cork. It tasted like a dirty gym bag. It didn't. <laughs> it it smelled like it. I didn't taste it. Was it was so bad. Did, but it, it was bad. Did it, did it smell like stinky fingers? No. <laughs> It smelled, it, smelled like it, it was pretty socks. bad. It was pretty bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just add that. So, without further ado, who's going to do the honors? Who's going to release the genie out the bottle? Well, uh, Chris is our guest today, so let's let him do the pour. Uh-oh. Does that make me high at label? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, get, that, let's get that cork pop. <laughs> yeah, right? well, so the well, way we do it, you got to get You the do cork it pop because you have there. the. So, oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, hold it close to the mic so no, you can get that good sound. I would. Ooh, that was a good one. He added a little decent, twist decent in there. pop, decent pop. <laughs> he added the twist. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a. All right. Yeah, that's me. The first one. Yeah, just pour him down the row. You'll Ricky V glass. And that's a Sully pour. That's good. We like Sully pours. Yeah, we like Sully pours. Shout out Sully. We what don't know where Sully? you're at. We don't know where you're at, but I hope you're good. We'll get you on the show someday. So, yeah, when you appear. <laughs> right. When you show your face. It comes back out of the desk. You monster. <laughs> Right, you so you pretty like the, three bottles. What are you getting on the color? Chris, okay, now think? this is dark. Yeah. This is darker than the last one we did, which was the... It was the, the Willet. The Willet, yeah. yes. This is darker, so this would be a... It's definitely a, a dark amber. Damn, oh, yeah, that is a dark amber, probably yes. the darkest one we've had Yes, yet. yes, yes. It's almost red. Okay. Yeah. Got a little let, tinge of red to it. Let me hear that. Yeah, me, it does, yeah. Let, talk, talk to me about the tears. Let's see them. A little shaky shake. Look at looking uh, looking long and lean. Hmm. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Call those Sammy tears. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like these glasses are well washed. <laughs> hey. We've had dirty glass hey. problems in the past. Hey, I, I thoroughly, I thoroughly, I appreciate I thoroughly that. washed that these glasses good. because y'all been complaining for the longest time. So I thoroughly clean them. We well, don't want the, so, the, the teardrops like clinging to a booger. It like, it like booger stops and it yeah. goes yeah. left, and you're like, "What's that tear doing?" <laughs> I appreciate a man that recognizes a clean glass. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's uh, very important. Yeah, long, long and lean on the tears, uh, running down. Definitely like All it. All right, so on the nose, aroma. Hit me with the aroma. Mm. Mm, wow, that's rich. Yeah. Uh, getting some like sweet caramel corn. I smell yeah, the corn. Like I smell it. S- like a little, little hint of, little hint of raisin. Raisin, I can get that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't smell overproofed at all. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, it's, I yeah, think we'll this is. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's, but, try, uh, it. Let's you, try it. Let's just grab the well, bottle. Yeah, and it's, it's not. I think it's 90, 91. 91? Yeah, yeah 91 smell, proof. You can smell that about yeah. it. 45 point. It's not, it's not vapor locking your nose with like. Right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not trying to kill it's, you. Yeah. It's like. It's more caramelly. We'll catch up to speed on these glasses later, but that's what these glasses are for. Right. These are. These are. These are. To funnel the. Neat glass. That's right. The experienced nose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's got a great smell. I don't, maybe a little vanilla. Uh, definitely, I think. Did, I think vanilla I some raisins. A little charred, yeah. some charred oak. Oak. Vanilla yeah, I'm, raisins. I'm charred oak. Definitely on the same page. No caramel, guys? guys? Yeah, I said no, caramel. I said caramel little? right after yeah. that. Okay. Little sweet, well, sweet caramel, caramel corn. Caramel raisins, corn, yeah. vanilla. Yeah. Little. I don't get too much charcoaliness. What wood for sure, but like more fresh timber than... Mm. More fresh timber than charred. Yeah, not not that kind of okay. acrid smell like you get from charcoal. You're getting yeah. in deep, like char levels and stuff. Yeah, that's that's very good. That's very good. It's All right, well, pop, it's, uh, pop, pop so that's that's the uh, that's we, we've done we've yeah. done color we've done smell. Uh, I believe it's time to go on to taste. Let's give it a go. But before we do, I got a little toast for y'all. Say it. Send it. So never cry over spilt milk. It could have been whiskey, boys. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers to the bottoms. Oh, I like that. This is the weirdest gloss. <laughs> it's so it's, hard to drink. It's it's awkward. It takes a little. From. Well, open, open your, your mouth. You should just be thankful. That open your mouth. These are the um, ex, these are the the competition glass, yeah. and not the experience glass, because they have a whole different level, oh, and and it's a more it's way more flanged. Yeah. Outward like, on the. Uh, I'm not used to like. The, how wide yeah. it is, so my yeah. my whole mouth is going in that. <laughs> yeah. like, where does this stop? It's uh, it's a little hard to get that to slot uh, down the o throat, but trust me, oh, I'm gonna give it uh, another go. It's vanilla. It's totally vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Yep. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Anybody yeah. get that? It's got uh, that. I don't know nutmeg, but it definitely like a, mm. a nutty. 
Yeah. yeah. Nutty flavor to it. Uh, I get I get like that aftertaste of like if you ever had vanilla coke when you're a kid and it's got like that <clears> that So that be the finish. The finish. Yeah, yeah, like a finish. Like yeah. a vanilla there, but not okay. not really up front. Yeah, it's like a, I'm I'm getting some of those like baking spices for sure mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kind of like um, an allspice or something i don't, I don't know if necessarily i'd uh, say that but not, not super spicy it's uh, like, so for the folks at home talk to me about spices. the bourbon yeah. wheel so then check out so go, we got go to the wheel bourbon here. wheel all right so you we're gonna put it on screen kinda, we're gonna put it on screen here shortly kind of go out from there so okay. um, how do you stop this thing so you start in the middle okay and then you decide which one you want to go with so i would say i'll go with the wood that's what i was gonna say as well woodiness so right, I was then. I was hoping you'd let me go on first so I could have redeemed myself. Oh, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. No, you guys yeah. already went. But no, I, yeah. I, that's what I was going to say. I was, I was going to go yeah. with wood, yeah. I'll, I'll gift you wood then. No. Talk about wood. La- okay, la- so last wood. time it was, so it was a little off. Are, are you going with the double wood there? Are you going to go well, into the nut? Give What's them the wood. Ricky v, what do you got? I got wood. You got wood. But I was going to go hey, also. Hey, hey, but yeah. I was, <laughs> Walk right into that I got wood for everybody. Hold on, fellas. But I was also going to say spice. Too much wood for <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too, too much wood. I signed on for a whiskey tasting podcast, <laughs> yeah. not a walked right into that. You, you've been on a submarine. Sausage There's a party. lot of wood around. All right, um, yeah. So wood, and then I, like I said, I think wood, next. I think it's nut. This is real. Like he yeah. said, he got nutmeg. I, I was, think it's kind of like I was going to go. Yeah, I'd go nut. I think it's kind of like a, maybe an almond or a pecan. Oh, almond. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Totally with you. I can agree with that. All right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we're all in agreement. How about that? Okay. So any, like uh, Chris was saying, any uh, from the finish, what do you get? Like he was saying like a, a faint vanilla. Yeah. Uh, definitely yeah, I like definitely a different. Some vanilla. So I always, like to, <clears throat> always like to do a smell, small taste, like, and then go back in for another smell yeah. and then taste. If you've ever had um, Crown Royal Vanilla, that's guy getting punched in the face. Yeah. This Ugh. is like a slow caress while you're at sleep. Probably because it's from infused. Your or it's infused, right? Yeah. So artificially, you know, mm-mm. nope. But Not something that it. just like draws out with. I, what, I, get, I get vanilla. Don't get don't get chammy started on the uh, Canadian uh, <laughs> Canadian whiskeys. <laughs> it's oh, bad, that, bad for that, your liver. That was going to be my answer to <laughs> is there bad whiskey, and I was just going to say Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> what do, hey, chammy, I mean, what do we use it for? What are we using Canadian whiskey no, no, for? No, that's that's you're thinking of punish the that's, liver. Oh, punish, yeah, <laughs> definitely punish the liver. But I, I get, I do have to say that I do like Crown Royal Black. It's, it's not bad stuff. Well, yeah. so Did hey, a little see? interesting fact on this um, as we're sitting here uh, shooting the shit and uh, and tasting this, and, and I know we're going to talk about some history later, but yeah, since we already got some flavor down, um, I just wanted to point out that this is a, a, a blended, right? So this is basically a small batch. Uh, they use no no more than five barrels to create the batch, but it's a uh, it's sourced uh, grain from from Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. So ah, the Indiana MGP MGP probably some MGP you know. product in there, um, if I had to bet. But uh, yeah, I don't know if the crowd knows this or not. Indiana's for hustlers. <laughs> Shammy loves talking about Indiana because he's from there. So I, I don't really. But oh, we we've talked about it every <laughs> single oh. episode. Mm. I, I just had an epiphany about the flavor of this. Ooh, <laughs> big words. I yeah, like it. Yeah. So okay. you're trying to describe what wood it tastes like, right? Yeah. Like oaky, you know, depending on what barrel it's in. I think this, if it was to be labeled in the shops, right? And be like, what flavor is this? It would just say wood. <laughs> Gen- like generic wood flavor. <laughs> if you're trying to taste wood, here you go. Wood so, yeah, James. like just describing to someone that doesn't know what wood tastes like. It's like, what does this taste? It tastes like wood, right? So, yeah. so your 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 point is is that it's got a very woody flavor, very neut- yeah. neutral woody flavor. Right. Yeah, it's not like oh my god, super oaky, and you're like yeah. oh my god, so much. Right. Yeah. it's just like got a nice wood forward yeah. wood flavor. So I think it tastes. A I dig bit it. Yeah. like uh, like wood dragged through limestone. I, I don't taste any lime. No, no, li- no limes here. <laughs> this ain't Corona's, boy. Uh, yeah, th- Wrong I, kind I, of lime. I think we've gone on a tangent for, yep, quite long enough. Where are we at next? Where are we going next what with this? Thing? What do we got? Let's see. I got you. Whoever wants to answer this first, it's fine. Go ahead. What would be the topic of your best-selling book if you were to write a book? Of course. So I'll take this one first. Assuming you can so, write. It's like we should always let the guests go first. Okay. Well, oh, oh, mine would be how to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, mine would be called Clipping Your Nails at Work, A Saga of Annoyingly Tweety. <laughs> excellent, excellent. This is, uh, so 
I, I you know I was initially going to say um, I wouldn't write a book because I don't I don't really read books. <laughs> However, uh, I'd have to say uh, how to how to how to have manners and treat your guests. <laughs> <laughs> Good ones. I actually don't I, know. I would I read know. that book. I don't even know what I would write. Yeah. But I'll probably write how to deal with uh, idiots. And it'd be like that one page. Endless, just man. ignore them. I, I yeah. think it would be a, a, a picture book. It'd be, <laughs> and it would just be like well, with a club. So, <laughs> like like an, an encyclopedia sized book that you could just throw at paper. So I think that book is uh, has already been this written by a, a guy called Michael Knowles. It's called... Reasons to vote for a Democrat, and it's completely <laughs> blank. <laughs> yes, I, I heard about that, actually. I heard about that, actually. <clears throat> so just throw it throw it at him. <laughs> Come on. Treat me better. Uh, be All right, so shall we give it another go? Let's go. See what, if we get anything else. Can we go back to the wheel? We're giving it another go? <laughs> no, I need... Yeah, go to the, go to the I've wheel. I've got a little overzealous, and I need another... Another, another go. Now you just get to smell it. Yeah, now I'll just smell the glass. If y'all, we can, we can bloom it. Everybody has water. Just get a cap. If y'all want to, I don't know. No, I still have plenty left. Okay. <laughs> you want, yes. Jordan's hurting. You want, you want soldier you want down? Here, let's. No, no, that, right. I, like, I, I, I hate I'll to see a brother down. in pain. I'll slow down. <laughs> hey, I like that attitude. Turns out I'm you kind know, of a lush never leave so. a brother behind. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just a lush today. He's little, been little behind. Over a little overzealous. Yeah, it was a small pour, but we'll get you there. I was taking Sully Sips as, along with that Sully Pour, so. I'm interested to w see what you guys think about the grain. Am I? What do you mean? Well, the, there's the grain. Oh, the grain, uh, the like, grain part. How would you describe the grain of this one? <sighs> so it, Definitely, it I wouldn't say rye. So I, would I would not, not say rye. I would not say rye. Yeah, I don't. Probably, I, I, I would go I, with I, corn, but it's kind of weird because in, in order to get to, well, I, yeah, the corn is there, but I, I mean, I'm thinking cereal, but in yeah, order I, to get there, you got to go through the malt, and I, I, I don't, don't taste malt not at all. Really so malty. I'm at some, all. Yeah. I'm somewhere between. Um, I mean, it's not a heavy rye for sure. No, uh, but the it's, corn, the corn definitely stands out. But yeah, I am picking up the rye, and I don't know what the rye content is, and at well, some so point we're going to get to the history on but it. But that's the thing; it's an undisclosed mash bill. Oh, it is. Yeah, keeping their secrets, huh? Okay. I, I get that cereal All as right. well. I think it yeah. just depends yeah. on what uh, what like, barrels they pull it from. Cool. Well, I, I believe it's a straight bourbon. So, uh, huh. with, with that being said, it's at least. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, it's going to be a, a 50, 51 percent corn. So. Yep. Um, yep. You know, probably a little more than that, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Uh, I don't know. Probably somewhere five to ten percent. Um, All right. So. Right, and then uh, maybe. Five or less percent. You're just guessing. Of, of just, yeah, I'm just guessing. Yeah. Rumors? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just guessing. I would agree with that, though. So yeah, it's a uh, slow on the right. Let's, uh, let's pull up the so sheet and see do, what. Do y'all want to? That's what yeah, I was going to ask. Let's pull up the sheet and see what it says. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let's do it. Have it. Go by his guesses. All right. Y'all going to see it pulled uh, up. I'm going to put it in the you know video so you can see it bigger, the aroma, taste, and finish. But this is what we got. Tasting notes. Aroma. Vanilla. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. And cream. So, I think I said nutmeg on the taste, not on the, not on the, not on the nose. Cinnamon? I, so yeah, cinnamon. I don't, I don't get cinnamon. cinnamon. This is from their website. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get Courtesy cinnamon. of Widow Jane website. Um, <clears throat> I do. So, again, I, I get that cream and that vanilla. Like I said, it like lingers out, like almost like a dessert vanilla ice cream where like you got that hint of vanilla that like carries on yep. with the fat. Yep. That's the first thing you said. Yep. Uh, on the taste, you're going to be surprised with this one, I think. Orange. Orange. I did not get citrus maple, on cherry, uh, and almond. So almond, I don't think it was, was kind of like we were all. in the nutty range. We were in the kind of like you know, we didn't say almond, but oh, I'll, well, say, I'll say I'll say we definitely orange. didn't say we cherry. Said nutty. The orange, I'm, I'm picking up the orange on on the further so taste and, inspection. And this is another thing, but it's a little more orange rind that, than that's than, why we do multiple yeah. so, tastings so because I exactly. I'm, I'm as you go, getting the maple on a smell a little bit after seeing it, but it says it should taste. So and then, the but I'm definitely not getting like a. The, what was it? You said maple, cherry, and what else? Orange, orange, orange and comma almond, cherry, almond. maple, almonds, yeah. comma cherry, comma almond. I think that's what it is. It's all these contributing factors all coming together and giving this like neutral, undefinable flavor where it tastes like a lot of things, but doesn't taste like any one thing specifically. And, yeah, and again, this is what they put out on their website. You know, like 
palates are different. Yeah, oh, something else. Yeah. That's I mean, the beauty of bourbon. And this bottle might be more wood forward than the mm -hmm. other ones. Could be. Then it says finish charred oak and spice. And I think we I get a little spice. We it's talked about the charred oak. Yes, we did. Because Lee said it tasted like. Like baking spices. Yes. Yes, right. he did. And I get Chris. That. Chris definitely said it tasted like a, like a charred oak. Okay, yeah. it's, so a, it's a it's a good who dram. Wants to, who wants to give it a go at the history uh, to the history? You'd be a what? I'd be a dragon. Oh, <laughs> really? I thought we were past that. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Who doesn't want to um, be a dragon? Jordan, you wanna you have the history oh, pulled up? So oh, I. Right. Uh, uh, I'll read a little bit about this bottle. Okay. So it says. Reviving the lost art of marrying the finest whiskeys, Widow Jane, 10 year old, is our signature bourbon, hand assembled in Brooklyn using the richest, rarest straight bourbons, only ever in five batches, non chill filtered, and proofed with our own mineral water from the legendary Rosendale Mines of New York. We deliver a whiskey unique in its intensity and complexity. Nice. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's, uh, yeah. I would totally understand the water being from somewhere else. Yep. That not, yeah. in, oh, yeah. not Kentucky. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. That well, New York water, so, you said high in lime, that makes yeah. perfect sense. Shemi, do you, for you, have, you have something for us for uh, related to the, obviously, to the whiskey? Well, yeah, I was just going to, I mean, I, some other interesting facts on that. And I already said, you know, once that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's basically it's a small batch, right? Five barrels or less uh, from three different states. Um, but what, what I did find... Uh, something on this is was kind of interesting. Some sometime around 2019, they shifted from doing a single barrel to uh, basically small batch. So if you find one from like 2018, maybe 2019, this bottle is from 2021. Uh, it's batch number 360 from bottle number I don't know. Uh, somebody's five year old wrote on there 843. Bottle 843. Something like that. So yeah, if you if you get something probably uh, before. 2020, 2019, it's going to be a, a single barrel. Yeah, if you get it, uh, send it Good to us. I'll it. give you the address, guys. Uh, Absolutely. Maybe post it. Um, something else that, uh, that I thought was interesting on the history on this is uh, uh, when, they, when they started up the distillery. Now, they do do this. Do, do, do. They do do. <laughs> do, do, do. He said do, I do. Said, I did. <clears throat> they do distill their own products, just not this one, however. Okay. Oh, really? So they are distilling some stuff in house, uh, okay. but the distillery, wherever they're out there in New York, um, started out. Uh, it was actually an old uh, chocolate factory. So I don't ah. know. Ah, uh, Willy Wonka, perhaps. Tch. Charlie, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe made with the chocolate river. So, ah, there you go. I like. So it I like me. And, on and their website. Segue to that. Chocolate goes really well with bourbon. Yes. Jordan, let it's it It's that cherry. Yes, uh, it tell does. Him, tell him. So it says on their website they have 11 different bottles that they make. I was going to say we don't write segues anymore. Oh, yeah, we don't write segues uh, either. Yeah. yeah, they've got we, some. We talked about they, it. No, no, they, I was looking on their site earlier. They've got some uh, yeah. pretty interesting looking bottles. So, so I have their site pulled up here. It says they got the 10 year bourbon, the decadence. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would be into that. Didn't you say the decadence is kind of sweet? So, well, I, I, I assume it's going to be sweet because what they do is they finish. The whiskey in a maple syrup barrel. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, yes. that's gotta be. So sweet. I, yeah, I mean they. It says on the site that, that it's sweet. Yeah. That might be uh, comparatively to the Angels Envy. Angels Envy. Yeah. The ride. So everybody's yeah. getting, oh, the, Cine yeah. the Cinnabon whiskey. Oh, let's, let's, let's not go there. Let's whiskeys. not go there. <laughs> so a little bit about the Widow Jane. Kind of like why is it named Widow Jane? <laughs> Obviously, it's Tell because it. because of the the cavern, or the mine. I'm sorry, the, the mine, mine that it, they it. harvest the water to proof the the whiskey. From yeah. the Widow Jane Mine in New York, and nobody knows why the the mine is called Widow Jane. There's some rumors that people have seen Widow Jane linger around in a white dress. That Widow Jane was somebody's spouse, and the guy died, so she stayed a widow. Then they named her after after her. Well, plenty of rumors, plenty of rumors, like oh, like everything. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like everything. They, did, so I I don't know. Did you read? Maybe I missed it. Uh, who who's distilling the product these days? Uh, let's see here. Because if, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, they've got a uh, there's there's a woman that's actually doing the uh, she's like the master distiller or, or one of the distillers there that's that's doing big things, which is you know I mean hey shout out because you know that's kind of a lot more guys that are out there doing it. So I mean yeah. you know we get a woman's perspective on some distilling. I'm I'm not mad at that. I mean you know bring it. But I thought that was kind of interesting. And um, I can tell you that they are really good at picking up flavors. 
and, oh, women, and, and yeah. on the taste and on the on the taste and on the nose like yeah, I think sometimes i, I yeah. share something Absolute, with my yeah. wife and she'd be like yeah. well i picked this up and i'm like yeah. damn well they're, they're definitely more per, per uh, perceptive that's a big word <laughs> per, there Percept- you go. definitely more perceptive word of the day perceptive. Perceptive. i think they're no, just less I th- pretentious I, th- I thought epiphany <laughs> I, I thought epiphany was going to be the word of the day uh, but, but it's, it's perceptive mm, now yeah okay. we, we use like 50 words to describe it they're just like yeah this tastes good <laughs> So apparently the limestone water is just high in pH and promotes fermentation and filters out the impurities. Well, and it removes the iron, which so make t- makes whiskey taste like like <clears throat> like doggy. No, since, it's not good. Since we're going on tangents here, um, I'm a big fan of, of water that's not, you know, like, I don't know, basic bottled water. I, I like a lot of mineral water and water that's got substance. Um, I, I, I was watching the show one time and they were, they were going through and, and like, <laughs> there's actually water bars, believe it or not, that are popping up I believe in, in like larger cities and you can go through and it's like, uh, you know, you can get like a mineral content in the water that, you know, you can, man, it's heavy. Well, you can so definitely I, tell the difference. I absolutely believe it. You so know why? Water because is. Because you can blindfold me and I can tell you if you're giving me Fiji. I can absolutely tell you if I'm tasting Fiji water. Yeah. Then we, we shall do it. And I bet you I'll figure it out because Fiji is just so different. And 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 there's plenty of waters that taste just like, you know, solid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know me, I'm a big... Uh, You're a big RO guy. You have an RO. Yeah, not an RO, but I, I, like, I, like the sparkling, uh, I like the sparkling water, the uh, Pellegrino. Uh, but, uh, you know, toss me a oh. bottle of that Topo Chico. Topo Chico yeah, is king. I was going to say, I can definitely <laughs> tell you the difference between a Fiji and a Topo Chico. Yes, but that, that one's kind of easier because it's just the, the Topo bubbles. Chico's. Yeah, it's just fizzy. I, I was hoping for some Toco, Topo Chico today. And, yeah, and we'll, we'll, have we, him, we'll have them off camera. And I got denied. Yep. You got that good Kirkland. <laughs> hey, uh, so let's let's finish this off. Let's give it a score. What are we All waiting right. for? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I'm down. Oh, before we do, before we do. I don't know who's uh, who's got a empty glass. Jordan, you already oh, had. I'm never gonna. Say no. Oh, we gotta share like good brothers here. Greedy. It's just so good. It it, it is really good. Yum num. Go to Chris. It, uh, that, not that one. This is my kind of whiskey. So yeah, it, maybe we should talk body. about how much a bottle at this costs. Yeah. So what, because, yeah, we didn't go over that, did we? Oh uh, no, we did not. What's uh? I've seen it for sixty. I've seen it on the shelf for like sixty something. Yeah. So that's that's yeah sixty sixty seventy. Yeah. Kaching. Is, yeah. Uh, no, it's you, fine. You should have got somebody else to run this thing. <laughs> yeah. well, well, how, how, much, how much did you say you had it for? I've seen it for sixty five. There, there it is. Go. There it is. 65. It, it tastes a lot like Blanton's, but not as good. Mm, no, this is better than Blanton's. Oh, I agree with I that. Feel like that's why well, I said it yeah, tastes not as good. That's, <laughs> that's, I don't, that's, uh, Blanton just lacks. That's, that's kind of a weird. We're not going to show you can. I don't know if you can do that comparison, though. I mean, this is a, this is a blended whiskey. This exactly. Is this yeah. is true. That's what I'm, I'm saying. It has. Blanton's is the original single Blanton, barrel, Blanton baby. Just, Blanton's just carries for me that like quintessential bourbon flavor. Quintessential. And is of top, like high quality, but un unique it's not unique mm-hmm. this is just like I that. totally not, agree with not you. quite as good but very good representation of bourbon this reminds me of calumet 15 but i wonder if it, it does different years of this are going to taste different because they've picked but this is a blend to blend it well with, i right? i here, here's the thing to look out for folks right they have started doing their own uh distillation process and i don't know exactly when that kicked off but uh someday someday it's going to be in-house because they have uh, w- w- what I found interesting is one of the uh, bottles that they're making. They've, they've kind of came up with their own corn that they're growing. Um, so they've done some mad science. That's interesting. Corn. Well, that, yeah. The different grain will definitely so make a difference because when we tried the, the Anita's, they used that. Uh, what they used six grains, baby. What was that weird corn that they had? Uh, it the, wasn't no, corn. It was, it was uh, the rice. Uh, gold Car- gold. Carolina gold rice. Yeah. And that made the flavor was just. That's we're gonna do we're gonna do an episode, and we should do it over there at the burnt turf. That's weird. I'm in. No, that is not weird. That you're gonna love. No, it was, you're gonna like it. I know it you was, like it. Rice is a grain in 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 whiskey. Yeah, Carolina. No, and that one, Carolina, Carolina gold, gold rice. rice. No, I'm not saying I wouldn't like it. I just 
It's uh, it's, it's like a fill up. They have it at the brown yeah. bag, and it's for, it's a uh, fifty fifty bucks. Okay, it definitely adds something different to it's make good. it. It's good. It's good. Stand so, out from other bottles. At some point, come down the road, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be making their uh, distillation of this Widow Jane ten year in house instead of sourcing it. So, so that probably you know, I mean, and when that oh, happens, yeah. that would be interesting right. to do a side by side by side comparison <clears> the pre. 2019, so, the, what it is right now, and then after. So that. stock up on bottles, baby. Well, I'm just and wondering how collect, much collect is item. Yeah. I'm just wondering what the price point is going to change, right? Because there's a lot of folks out there that are that are going out and uh, and, and and they're going and, and, and they're sourcing their their stuff, well, their I, product, I could and, see and doing that the barrel. Definitely jump at the price of this bottle to like <clears throat> closer to 100 bucks because I mean, being. Don't say that. If it if they. Don't hype Start it up, baby. It. Yeah. Don't hype it, up. hype it up. This is I'm like saying. a $40 bottle, guys. This is the redemption yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, why, I mean, that's... But if they start doing all their stuff in-house, it's not going to be a blended anymore. It'll be more of a single barrel. Like uh, a small uh, hey, well, it, it is... We're getting carried on. Let's, it, let's we are getting carried on. But it, I would say he said $40. Yeah. I mean, this is really, it's really good. more along the lines of I would of pay 40, more than 40 for it. Well, that's a 45 maybe $50 bottle. Because it's sourced... We'll talk about it offline, because... Let's do it. I'm right. I'm, running I'm right. Here, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna score no. first? Uh, we, Our guess. Guess goes guess first. first. Right. So explain to him the yeah. the, the so, so it's a barrels. Do, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we do a barrel scale. Five barrels being perfect. Perfect bottle. Top notch, baby. But we do allow for half barrels. No, none of that three quarter shit. <laughs> Even though he always tries to go for it. I do. <laughs> the fence rider. He's yeah. like, man, I don't want to do it. It's so good. But yeah, so I want to give it four, but shoot I'm only from the hip. <laughs> yeah, just shoot from the hip, whole or half numbers. I mean, obviously, two and a half is an average, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Middle of the road, everyday kind of bourbon is like a two and a half. For me, this is, represents a good, solid drinking bourbon all day long. And at that price point, 65 bucks, I'd give it a three all day long. Mm-hmm. Respect. So yeah, I was, I was leaning a little, a little more towards uh, like a three and a half to a four. I really enjoy this. There you go. It's, uh, it's pretty good. There Thanks, you son. Go. There you go. That's that's what you're going with. I, I'm gonna say four. I like it. Ooh. I like it a lot. All all day I'll do that with this. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> I've got a different perspective on it. I think uh, I'm with Chris. I think it's a slightly above average at a three barrel pour. Although, you know, at that seventy dollar price point, there are there are some as equally good, uh, if not better, things that you could buy out there. But if you've never had it, don't be a cheap ass. Go out and spend the money. <laughs> Give her a taste. Don't be cheap with If bourbon. you were to go out and buy this for $70, bring it back, and you like bourbon and drink this, I think you'd say, well, that was money well spent. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You're not, you're yeah. not absolutely. throwing yeah, money you, away. You wouldn't be disappointed bank for your unless, you're, unless you're a cheap ass. You know, otherwise, you I mean, go to bed. So, so what's your score? I mean, it's just like, uh, oh, I, said, said I said a three, oh, but three? I mean, it's not like you can't go to McDonald's and be like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, I'd like your whiskey. And then she, they'd be like, uh, sir, this is McDonald's. Yeah, that's where you order a... Uh, Macau. Excuse me, then uh, I'll, I'll have your Mick whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> the whiskey machine well, is broken. There, Surprise! Huh? <laughs> the whiskey machine is broken. It's like the ice cream, um, never available. Uh, I, I was hoping I would go first, so they wouldn't say, "Oh, you copied somebody else's score." Well, Whatever. There, there's not that many scores, but I'm I'm with Jordan Lee. It's a three point five for me. Okay. It's really good. I said it was related so to the Calumet. Yeah. I love Definitely. Calumet as my top. Oh, Calumet Top is three. Really good, but Tell so, me why th- half a barrel more. Because justify it. It has depth. It's it it's does. got good flavor. It feels good on the tongue. It coats. It's it doesn't have a lot of burn. It's smooth. And for the price, Calumet is twice that, and it yeah. tastes almost like that. Calumet is a hundred. The one I like is one hundred and twenty. This is sixty five. So you're saying it's a sleeper bottle. It's Ab- a sleeper. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a sleeper. Yeah, it's it's really good. Oh, I wait, like it. Wait, I wait, it. wait to build the hype. They're, Hey, we'll, build, build the hype. I've seen it everywhere. I, I, with, I, th- I with, thought you were going to say because the bottle looked cool. With no, our, it's, a, it's a regular. <laughs> we said that with the last it, bottle. It's, it's we're a, not doing no, that again. It's, it's a regular <laughs> ass bottle. With Come our, on. With guys. our massive amount of followers, nah. we'll never be able to buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding because. You guys you know, are doing great. Keep up the good work. Like and subscribe. Yep. Do that, guys. So or don't. let's sign out. Shall we? Yeah. Who's got I, it? I think it's your turn, Ricky V. <clears throat> Well, I'll do the same thing we do all the time. That's it. Oh. Before we do that, hey, if you like us, if you don't like us, I don't care. Comment, subscribe, share, do it. This is 
an open forum. First, let us let us know what we're doing wrong too. If you want to see yeah. us do something else, freedom of speech. Don't like it. <laughs> do it. First Amendment, baby. Criticism yeah, it's rough. We're we're yeah. still honing it in, and and like I said in the beginning, right? We're always changing things up. It seems like with every episode, and so we're always adding something new. Um, and to that effect, we only did this bottle because. It won in the poll. People's choice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. People's we choice. We didn't even talk about oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, so yeah, I forgot <clears throat> about that. We did. What three uh, bottles we had, Jordan? So we had, what was your bottle? The Oh, yeah. The one that was basically dead <laughs> the last. The last place. Well, nobody knew what it was. <laughs> well, that's because they're. That's the Bardstown. Yeah. Right? It's the Bardstown <laughs> Fusion not, Series educated. number six, which is going to be, I guarantee, I'm going to put money and we can do a side-by-side comparison. Bardstown is way more expensive Bar- than this. Yeah, it is. But I guarantee that Bardstown Fusion Series number six is mo better. Okay. I'm, we'll, I'm we'll saying have, right we now. We have an episode Bardstown for that. Hype. We have an episode for that. Okay. So it was Bardstown, Widow Jane, and Blue Run Reflection. Never heard yeah. of it. Blue Run. Uh, it's, it, I think it's starting to get some of the hype. It must be. It's got a that butterfly. Nice butterfly on the bottom. Butterfly. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe. Yeah. Like that. So. Yeah, and then so we, we go uh, chase. So we put the poll out on the social media, see what the people wanted, and yep, uh, the people spoke. Well, let's see. you guys, I got, I got you guys spoke. Right we listened, we delivered. Here it is, Widow Jane, and stay tuned because we're gonna do way. There's way more content coming. We're gonna we're gonna raffle things. There's brackets coming. We got the battle battle of the states, Yay! Kentucky. Okay, <laughs> not Texas, Kentucky versus Tennessee, but okay. I'm, I'm just gonna stay off right now. <laughs> no. We've yeah. had we've had far less sound effects <laughs> than since we had this board. He's got the record for less sound effects. So, anyways, for, one last thing on our poll here. So we we'll, we got 32 people voted total. What'd you uh, say about my poll? 19 <laughs> percent of people small. polled for Bardstown, 53 polled for. Widow Jane and 28% pulled for the Blue Run. Mm, so, second place, baby. Second place, first loser. <laughs> it's right. not first, said, you're last. So, if, you're, if you're not first, you're last. I, I, got, I got a little bit left to do. Yeah, sign us out. Cheers. Sign us out. Sign us out. Sign us out. Okay, here we go, guys. Thanks for tuning in, brothers. Some ships are wooden ships, but those ships may sink. The best ships are friendships, and to those ships we drink. May you have fair winds. And following seas. Huzzah. 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 <laughs> hey. Take care, guys. Enjoy. The Anorak Show.